My next call is going to be a player I've been mentioning a lot, so I apologize for regular listeners. You, you've already heard us talk about Mickey Moniak. You know he was the first overall pick of his draft class. I want to mention him in part just because his stat page is just so crazy fun right now. I mean, he's hitting 419. He's got four homers. He's got two steals. His BABIP is like 970. I mean, it's it's not quite that high, but it's really, really high. He, he's yeah. walking almost never, striking out a bunch. But here's the thing. He's got category juice. He's got power. He's got speed. And even though he hasn't necessarily percolated to a full-time job, and sometimes they'll even let him play. He hits a home run yesterday, and then they pinch hit for him anyway because the lefty came into the game. But mm. when he does play, he's hitting leadoff, and that's obviously an Anaheim where you want to be. You want to be in front of Otani. You want to be in front of Trout. I think at the end of the year, I could easily see this guy having like 18, 20 home runs, double-digit steals, maybe a, a playable average even if the strikeout walk numbers don't look that good. And yeah. we love we love post-hype guys. This is a player who the, the Phillies just decided. They gave him like a cup of coffee in the majors. Said, okay, this guy can't play. They basically gave him up in the center guard trade. I love chasing past pedigree. And I think the Angels, who don't have the deepest lineup anyway, I think they're eventually going to realize that Moniak needs – everyday playing time or if nothing else, the strong side of a platoon, which he's kind of in right now. Yeah. Uh, 19% rostered Yahoo. I, he feels like somebody who should be around 50% to me. Yeah. Ride the hot hand, see what happens. I think the, the best case is strong side of a platoon. Uh, I believe he has one hit in the majors against left-handed pitching with a strikeout rate over 50% uh, against Southpaw. So that's, that's going to be tough, but I mean, the player that's being hurt the most by Moniak's, uh, you know, rise here in recent days as Taylor Ward, like his stock is totally crashed. Um, we'll be worth watching where this goes, but you don't, you can't blame the angels for riding the hot hand and Moniak. He's hitting the ball in the air a ton. His fly ball rate is 60%. So he's hitting the ball hard too. Like he has barrels. He's a hard hit percentage is good. Average exit velocity is 91 miles per hour. So if you're hitting the ball in the air and you're hitting it hard. That's usually a good thing. Uh, so I think for, at least for now, um, you know, keep expectations in check as far as everyday playing time. But, uh, yeah, I mean, he has everything you want in a pickup, getting that volume in front of those guys, like you mentioned.